pushing in, but pushing in with the body. If you make this all tight, and just sink into your front foot a little bit. And then uh, here, bring, bring the body to the hand instead of the hand to the body this way. And not, not that so much sideways, but more like a scooping. So we're pushing in with this body weight into our front foot and uh, this power going through our arm. And then we have this connection. Try to maintain this connection, make this 10 count, and extend this connection a little bit. Play with this part. Play with this part. Play with this part. That way, we get to practice a bit of strength and a bit of uh, our own body connection, making connection to them, and then we practice extending them with our turn. Just a tiny pinch, tiny pinch. I know here, you got this one, and, and instead of an all shoulder power, we use the body just by sinking in a little bit to get this tension, and then practice getting some extension out of the, practice pulling extension out of the, this a beautiful one, you can make them off like that. 10 can practice, 10 can practice, start a gaffy hammy, we start a gaffy hammy, and then meeting, right? This is okay, and very common nowadays, this kind of footwork, but uh, a real footwork is a stopping. Uh, stopping this way. Here, right? And now once again we're we're in a gakuhami and we're meeting. Now when we're meeting in this one, right, and it's a big hammy, this one here, let's lead them in with this hand. Lead them in. And then draw them in. Make them believe they're gonna get it and, and, and draw them. So once again, we can pull a hand in the body, we pull our own hand in our body to meet before we can hand. But, but with a 10 with a ten cat, draw them in. Like they're coming for it, don't let them get. And if you can stay just a little bit ahead of them, that's all nice. Hey, okay. Sure. Yes. I had, we spoke about tightening this up and then using the body power. Instead of, it's like stepping, it looks like stepping in. Stepping in is fine, just move your center forward. Do this four times and then pull it to you, stretch them out. Thank you. Get a stretch. If you're hanging on tight, you stretch your wrist. Hey, there I got my thumb. Here, remember, remember this one. Hey, when I'm doing, a, doing these ones, we shake our wrists this way. This gives us this, this kind of uh, flexibility in that. Doing a Shibonagi exercise, or lots of uh, techniques. Here, come in here. Practice a turn in here and this side. As Nage, it's our job to allow Luke to hang on. And, uh, so we have to move around that grip in a sense. We move around that power. Outside, half down, 
here. On the rest. Knee kill. Yeah, a little bit half kick. This uh this is like fifth Q4, Q3, Q away. Outside for her. Coming up. Tight knee kill, okay, Andrew. Almost the same. Almost the same. Show me your cheek. Show me your cheek. Here, big step outside. Then take the yonk heel. And then take the yonk heel. Don't worry too much about the, this yonk heel pain at this point. But take this connection to his elbow, to the shoulder, and feel this connection where you've got running through his body. Step in and take him down. Catch up. Lock this one in here. Then practice this. You don't feel pain on the one once you've got it down in control. Here. Yonkyo Ura. Take your down to this point. Then we take the Yonkyo connection again and Yonkyo. And a moke style of this uh, for a second. We're just going to do a moke. And, and this one's coming in. Of course, we do our nice ishio. We get him down. We take him to this point. We go to take this yonkyo, but he comes back up. If he comes back up, let this elbow drop into here, into your point here. We take both hands. We go like this here. We take this one, and then here. Just bop. And then take Okay, this, this happens in the off-field a lot, where we, where we might not have the guy, you got to be here, and it comes back up. Here, drop this one into your pit, into your, uh, then descend it, and then practice it. I miss the off it comes back up, just let it into here, lock this one, and then bend it, and then and nice lock. Okay. Just a moment. Coming here. Take this hand and hold this hand. Push this hand down a bit with a little bit of weight. And then this one. Me kill. Got a little bit of pressure here, and we sink hand around it. This one a little bit down. This one rolling up. And making it No stopping. Okay. This one, uh, we all going to work. Both, both grab this side. Both grab this side here. This one. This one both grab this side here. This one. Just like a hubby. Just like a hubby. Man. So this is very common outside of kind of thing that happens to people. Very common. So somebody's going to be in trouble this way, right? And they're very close. Just, just grab them here and then step back. I step back, you, you decide, as long as you've got this connection going on, this can be anything in here, anything, but uh, try to maintain something if you just come right around them and then just go. Lots of times they're this way, right? But if you're in close and they have you in close, if maybe they have you in close, this is okay. And then don't hang on to them too long, just to let them go. They'll come with these. That's a very difficult to hang on too long for again. This one like a Kino and Azari, where they might have you strong and then just apply. But we make a better connection. This one, I just tried this a couple times. Hey, 